someplace fun that I love going is Texas, especially after hunting hard all fall. Uh, you know, the, the season can be long at times, but you know, Texas is usually pretty laid back. It's a fun place to go, take guests, just have fun and camp. And for the last few years, we've been going, going to Paul Holton's uh, out there. And you know, we usually go a little bit mid to late November. There's a little bit of a rut going on. You can have some success rattling and grunting and uh, love going out there to Paul's. We have Riley Green joining us this year at Paul Holton's, his first time ever out there. But if there's one thing anybody knows about Riley, if you've watched any of his hunts from road trips this past season or ever seen him on TV hunting, uh, the man shows up to shoot. He's not afraid to put that safety off at any time and shoot the first deer that you tell him is a good deer. The, the man is, he is, he's trigger happy. Let's just put it that way. We in there like swimwear now, boys and girls. I don't know what Tyler's going to do, but we're good. I don't know. That's right. We got one gun on, boys. When Tyler brings you a gun you never shot before, always check it. That's the lesson to be learned today. <laughs> Tyler says it's on. Good shot. There seems to be a slight issue with the guys putting the AC unit in. Evidently, they got under the house to do all their stuff, and they might have run on to, I don't know, six or eight. Five or six? Ten rattlesnakes. Those are the know. other place? Yeah. You got a bed in here? Yeah. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> look at this Because I don't think I can get under this house. I know. Most of This deer is over in that area. He's got this big kicker on a G2, mm -hmm. like a coffee hanger. Then there's this mainframe 10 here. Pretty. Yeah, he's just kind of, they're all pretty, pretty well the same length. I'm gonna have to go to some older pictures here. Got some. You never know this time of year. You just gotta be out in the woods. It's definitely gonna be warm. Is that what you're gonna measure your snake with? Yeah, man. The snake's longer. <laughs> the snake's any longer than this. I'm not sleeping over there. <laughs> uh. I like it, man. This is a very new setup for anything I've ever done. I've done some hunting in Texas, but uh, we are brushed in. Sort of in a side of a hill, I guess. A little bowl in front of us. Yeah, this is a different kind of hunt. I think uh, it's, it's, it's not too much of a poke. I think what further shot we could have right here is probably 200 yards. Maybe two. Pretty good, bud. Oh, he's pretty, though, ain't he? What do you think, man? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Uh, we had some does come out and great looking eight point, real chocolate horned, just typical Texas looking deer. Uh, man, <laughs> it was. <laughs> I want to say it was tough not to shoot him, but it still is. <laughs> it's a great deer, but you know, uh, here's another buck coming out. Right 
hooking. Good job, buddy. Hey, kitty. Is that him? Just went down. Just went down. Ooh, I'll tell you, that was a... Uh, the deer actually came in early on this big eight dead. He chased a doe off just this time of year, you know. They, He's big. Son. Look at that eight pointer right there. Oh man. Y'all come in here. That was fun. I tell you, that was intense for a little bit. I, I kind of thought he uh it wasn't gonna happen. You know, he as soon as I was about to shoot when we had really good light, he took off running. And uh just, you know, this time of year when you have a shot, take advantage of it. But as soon as I clipped my safety off, he was on the move, son. <laughs> He was running. She smelled good. Yeah. I don't blame him. Thank y'all. You bet. You that bet. was fun. That's a good shot. We're switching gears now. Late season Texas in the middle part of December. We have our good buddy Austin Riley with us. And with Austin this past season going deep into the playoffs for the Braves, you know, he's not able to hunt a whole lot, so he has to take advantage of the opportunities he does have. Like he was in Nebraska back in November, took a really nice deer. Now he's with us down here in Texas. And we're on Mike Strauss' place, which is very well managed, has a lot of good ground. You know, always fun going to Texas again. I love this place. I love Texas. What's the biggest deer y'all taking this year? Oh my God. I, I remember this picture, I'm pretty sure. That's the biggest buck I've shot. 190 inch deer, where we're going tonight. You gotta shoot his son. Yeah. We're gonna shoot his stepson. We're actually trying to get the first kill on camera with a new Hoyt, so I just wanna break it in and then we can focus on some other stuff this week. Well, there's a 10 there with short fours. I'll kill anything. There's a 10 there with a short with a short twos. Okay, short so fours three, and short twos. Three mature bucks. That I know. There's actually a fourth mature buck. He's a six point, if you wanna shoot a six point. Yeah. <laughs> How you do this? Okay, I got it. Sell it for what it is. Get the goods in there. That's money, that looks good. Imported all the way from the Greek. <laughs> That's all we need. So this windmill right here, I've got a bow stand, see the stand in the tree right there? Yep. Um, what they're coming in here to do is hit the water troughs here. When it's this dry, they don't have a choice. They have to come water here. This would be another good option. Let me look at it, because we can put them where we want them. I, let me see if I can get them where they're not in there. Like we can get them away where you can still film them and feed in the right spot. But if I feed where I normally feed, they're gonna, they're gonna get us. I got a feeling these couple of mature bugs would be pretty smart. Oh, dude. You want to try something different? Mm. I'm, I'm all good for doing something different. We've had to go to plan B. Got all the way here, realized the wind wasn't right. It switched here in the last hour or so. So we're going to go actually put the bow up, grab the gun, go into a different ranch, and going to try another deer tonight. So. That didn't take long, did it? We're talking a big game, like, oh, we'll bow hunt the whole time. And then I saw some of the, the trail cam pictures that Stroff had. And I said, well, that, is it bow or gun? I said, is, is it bow or gun? He said, hey, you're going to need a rifle. I said, well, let's go grab the rifle. Yeah, it's going to be This is the same bullet. It killed a 190 a few days ago. 150 grain Nosler tip from Federal. I'm ready. It's a good 
first evening just a little bit warm this afternoon though and I think the other rest of the week we're gonna have some cooler weather so it should get a lot better with the deer hunting and also the rut I mean it's just kind of kicking off and Riley gets in here tomorrow for the afternoon hunt and then go back to camp regroup figure out what we're gonna do may come back in here in the morning and sit just getting started here this morning got kind of overcast there's been a really nice deer here he's been between this spot and a couple other spots we've been trying to catch up with him he's a really pretty 10 pointer but he's got some kickers going off both his twos he's a really pretty deer we're just hopefully gonna see him here at some point the crazy thing with the rut right now is just kind of getting going here in the middle of December this part of Texas these deer are cruising the Roman. I can already see some deer in the road early this morning. Oh, there's a big buck right here. Yeah, which, which way? You see a mic, he just stepped in the road. decision to come in here. Yep. Well, we've made the wrong decision a bunch of times. A bunch of times. I tell you, it's been kind of just a cat and mouse game. Here we are, it's December 13th, and uh, these deer have just been kind of cruising. Whew, my heart's pound. That's the deer we were looking for. That's the one. Yeah, we, you did right. Why you wait? You did that last year here too. I think he just went down right here, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, want, I got him. Okay, I'm going down. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> Sweet. God oh bless yeah. Texas with his own hand. <laughs> he's going to be just right here. I like these kind of tracking jobs. I need a flashlight hunt. to get to the deer. <laughs> That's the kind of hunts we like. The kind of hunts we don't get a lot of. I think those right. boys are seeing some deer. I'm getting text messages. My phone's blowing up. Touchdown. Oh, wrong with that dude? Oh, no. He's bigger than the one here. He's pretty. That is a good Texas buck. He's already been fighting a little bit. Got a couple points. Kind of broke, broke off his brow a little bit right there. That's him. Kicked on both him. twos. He is yeah. old. That is an old deer. It's pretty awesome. Don't that look a lot like the buck you shot last it year? It does. He, I mean, he reminds me a lot of that deer. You could definitely tell that gene runs on this ranch for sure. Thank you. Good man. Appreciate good it. Good deer. All right, man. Well, it feel good to sleep in this morning? Got it done, huh? Thanks, oh, man. Is it in the trunk? Yes, yeah, it's in the trunk. Come on. Oh, yeah, boy. Right telling the picture, you bladed it, ain't he? Yeah. He gone, man. That's awesome. What bad. Did it rain today? I was no. asleep. <laughs> it, it, I don't it, know. It, it did not rain. I mean, I will tell you this. 
I woke up. This is the negative to killing that quick. You only spend one night in a camp. I woke up dead. I don't know where the hell I was at. <laughs> Gonna have some coffee. Easy with the hazelnut, man. It will overtake your coffee. Got to sleep in this morning. It, it felt nice. <laughs> I heard all the other guy, heard Austin get up and leave a lot earlier than us. Yep, this is the nice thing about when you got to go out rattling them. There's nothing we can do until we can see. So we're just kind of killing time just to get there. We'll go park, let it get good light where we can see good. I checked a bunch of cameras yesterday. Got some areas that I know shooter bucks are in. We're just going to go into those areas, rattle, see if we get lucky. It's the first cold snap we've really had. Yeah. So, and the rut should be right now. And we really haven't seen anything chasing. So, yeah. I think today's the light switch. It's going to turn on. And if it does, you're going to get to experience some South Texas rattling. This will be fun. set up under those big mesquites and I'll okay. just go past you. All right. Pretty open area. Yeah, but if we get something to commit out here, we call it the hub. There's actually five roads that come in all together so they can tell them okay. Good. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy was that? Perfect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> was that nuts? You I mean, he watched kill. us get in position and everything, and you still grunted him in. <laughs> <laughs> he just wagged his tail and said, oh, okay. I know. <laughs> And Man. that other buck come up here, I think that other deer helped us though because his attention was not. That right. Was, was, he was dealing with that little, little young buck. Oh, look at that deer, man. That's a freaking tank. Well, he's been right. He's fired up this morning. That was freaking awesome. Dude, that's a big deer. <laughs> it's a really nice deer. We hunt like deer. crazy out of the blinds and do all that. We just sleep in an extra hour, come out, lollygag around, go for a little... I heard Austin leave an hour before we even got up out of the bed this morning, so that's how... He, he's going to be mad. They had killed one and we just... Austin's due. <clears throat> Hopefully this afternoon they get it done or later this morning, but that was fun. Thank you. Dude, that's a big deer. That's a big deer.
Heck yeah. <clears throat> the shot was not really where I wanted it, but <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, this is definitely one we saw this morning. Yeah. yeah. Cut that kicker up right there. About time. About time. <laughs> I thought we were, him. yeah, that's him, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's a good one, man. Congrats. Appreciate it. Yeah. And we were just sitting there talking and Brian looks like, hey man, that looks like a good deer. And uh, Showing up, I knew it was me when I saw him. I saw that picture in his hand. So. Down to the wire. You took down to the wire. Congrats, dude. Appreciate it, brother. Tell me about it. So we we ended up seeing him first thing this morning, crossing real quick, chasing his doe, and, and then it kind of slowed up. Me and Brian were just sitting there talking. We were actually looking at some places in, in Mississippi on the river. He's like, man, that's, that's a good deer. I looked up as soon as I saw it, as soon as I filled my binos, I, I saw the split on the last hand. Cool deer. Blew him down. So, I love it. <laughs> I, we just, eyes on the horns. Huh? Eyes on the horns. <laughs> That's what I was telling him. He was he's one, an old deer, isn't he? Yeah. For sure. That's what I was telling him. Whenever he was like, when we saw him the second time, we were trying to make sure that the small deer were behind it, and he was like, I right, kill him. I was about to squeeze off, and he turned around. So I immediately started freaking out. I'm like, he turned around, walking away, and I was like, Oh boy. So as soon as he turned this way, I was like, Boom. I let it eat. So, I let it eat. That's why he was on the road. Yeah, I had no, no track to say, I think this will probably drop. 